Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas that's formed deep inside landfills as organic matter breaks down, but rather than let it escape into the atmosphere or be burned off in a flare stack, folks at the landfill have found a better way to get rid of it. The roar of heavy machinery is not an uncommon sound around the Raleigh County landfill. It takes a lot of bulldozers and trucks to move, compact, and cover the roughly 140,000 tons of trash that's dumped into the landfill every year. Altogether, that adds up to about 2 million tons of trash and counting. But now, there's a new sound. Each of these 20-cylinder Caterpillar engines produces over 2,200 horsepower and drives a generator that pumps electricity out onto the grid. Right now, currently, we're probably producing 1.6 megawatts of electricity. Uh, industry rule of thumb is a megawatt of electricity will uh, power approximately 1,200 homes. So we're, uh, we're getting close to the 2,000 home mark. And we have capacity to do 3.2 megawatts because we have two engines. Hopefully we'll have enough gas for that in the uh, near future. And then we also have provisions to be able to place a third engine. Once the third engine comes online, of course, that would be an additional 1.6 megawatts. The gas that fuels these engines is formed deep inside the landfill when bacteria starts breaking down the organic material and all that buried trash. Landfill gas is roughly 50% methane. When we first went into this, it was a operational issue because we had gas pressure on the landfill and it was driving leachate outbreaks from our landfill. So we were constantly putting under drains in. Once we um, I figured that we could alleviate some of the gas pressure. It was an operational issue, and then it got to the point of, well, let's just go ahead and destroy the gas. That was done by drilling a series of roughly 30 wells, each 60 to 80 feet deep into the landfill. The gas was collected and diverted through a pipeline to a flare stack where it was burned off. Then we got to thinking about, we really need to do something proactive with it, uh, something that we can monetize and, and the best effort was to generate electricity. So we went into partnerships with a um, company called Seven Islands Environmental Solutions, and they put the uh, money or for the infrastructure in place and started pulling the gas over to the uh, electric generation plant. The gas must be cooled, dried, and compressed to turn it into a viable fuel. That process is also handled at the landfill. The flare stack remains part of the system to be used to burn off the excess gas in case both generator sets are down at the same time. Right now, the landfill is producing enough gas to run only one of the generator sets at its full capacity at a time, so the facility is alternating engines during this initial break-in period. And there are more plans in the works. Our next move may be looking at the heat from the engines. Can we utilize the heat from the engines to do something proactive with it also, such as uh, maybe developing some greenhouses on, on the facility or using the, uh, the residual heat to heat our, our maintenance shop or something of that nature. And those engines produce a lot of heat. The power generation facility at the landfill has been online since March. For Environment Matters, I'm Jake Glantz.